It's not a Big Mac attack, it's not a heart attack, it's Pack Attack for the Sega Game Gear. Originally released in 1993 by Namco, this is available on numerous game consoles like the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, as well as in some Namco compilations. I think it's even on the Virtual Console. This has more in common with puzzle games like Tetris, Columns, or Dr. Mario than it does with Pac-Man, but check out how Pac-Man is used. He comes along with the puzzle pieces that fall from the sky, and clears out the ghosts so the Tetris-like pieces fall into place. And like Tetris, if you complete a row, it disappears and scores you points. That's the basic explanation of the gameplay, and I find this one really challenging and a great game on the go. It makes a nice portable game, so for those of you that still travel with your game gear and five pounds of batteries, check this one out. Of course, it's also available on the Game Boy. This was sent to the show by Esteban from Satsuma, Florida. A big thank you. I, I've had my eye on this game for a while, but never played it, and it sufficiently kicks my ass every time. On the normal difficulty level, that's where you want to begin. Easy is a bit too easy, normal throws you into the meat grinder, along with Pac-Man. As the gameplay picks up speed rapidly, fortunately on normal it gives you 50,000 points just for starting, so at least you earn 50,000 points. The thing that strikes me as cool about Pack Attack is not only how they use Pac-Man, but how the game requires a completely different mindset than Tetris. As you may have noticed, things fall into place, so you can break up the shapes when they fall down. And the same applies to the ghosts, who you want to position in such a way that Pac-Man, when dropped from the sky, can eat through them, scoring you points and also dropping the levels. So it's like you're doing two or three things at once. And like the original 1980 Pac-Man, it starts off easy to get you into the game and then just hands you your own ass as it picks up speed rapidly. And even though you can see the next piece, you have very little time to plan ahead. And even when you do, you have to move your pieces into position quickly and accurately. I, I would frequently overshoot or undershoot where I was placing things, which you've probably noticed. Pack attack may give you a heart attack, so watch out if you play these games with a lot of intensity. Back in 1994 when the Game Gear was new, it would have looked brighter and more colorful than this. Sadly, most Game Gear screens have faded over time. I'm intrigued to find this game on the Super Nintendo or Genesis, because I really like it. It's a very clever and highly addictive puzzle game. A lot of fun. Since I don't have the instructions, I'm not exactly sure how the star meter on the left fills up. But when it does, you seem to be rewarded with something. Something that saves Pac-Man's ass in this game. Assuming he has an ass. Hot damn! Poorly placed, but I'll take it. They never covered any of Pac-Man's anatomical details in the cartoon. In fact, if you even remember the Pac-Man cartoon, then welcome to living in the past with me. It's a great place, because it's always 1982. It's Pack Attack for the Sega Game Gear, and if you think this looks cool, which it does, then pick it up for your game console of choice.